It's time for <laughs> closing it. statements. You will each have one minute. The order was randomly generated, shared with the candidates in advance. Mr. Sonnenberg, you will go first. Thank you, Kyle, and thank you for the opportunity to be here as part of this debate. My name is Jerry Sonnenberg, and I'm a fourth generation farmer and rancher from Sterling, Colorado, on the farm that's been in our family for over 100 years. I live in the same house that both my father and I were raised in. I've raised my family there. I have deep roots in the community. I served in the legislature where I worked across uh, the aisle and, and uh, served as President Pro Tem as Colorado in the Colorado Senate, where I solved problems. I was vice chair of the state, uh, uh, state Affairs Committee, where we worked to kill the liberal agenda the last time Republicans were in charge. I was chair of the Ag Committee, where we worked on issues to help oil and gas, on water issues, on <coughs> natural resources, all of those things that are important to agriculture as well. I'm proud of my record as a legislator. You'll be proud of me as your congressman. Ladies and gentlemen, please go to uh, SonnenbergForCongress.com. I humbly ask for your vote. Thank you. Mr. Sonnenberg, thank you very much. Mr. Yu. Well, Colorado, we have a large primary field, as you can see, and that's okay, because in America, you have the right to run for office, and I'm honored to be on this primary ballot because you, the constituents, put me there. I did not buy my way on this ballot, and so the most likely is whoever wins this primary election will be your next representative. So I encourage everyone to make sure you vote in this primary election to make sure you have the right representative for you. And when you do vote, make sure you have a candidate who represents all 750,000 constituents, not just a small fraction. So I say to the Republicans, I am a solid conservative who follows the Constitution. I say to the unaffiliates, we are on the same page. And to the Democrats, you are always welcome to the table to make sure we find commonality. We need to remember that in the day, we need to put away our disagreements to make sure we remember that we are friends, we are families, and we are neighbors, and that we are all Americans. My name is Peter Yu. I'm asking for your vote. Thank you very much. Mr. Yu, thank you. I appreciate all of you respecting your opponents by staying to time. Uh, the next closing statement belongs to Ms. Flora. I grew up on Lowry Air Force Base, and I have deep roots fighting alongside my neighbors in CD4 as a parent and school choice advocate, as a director of public policy and a radio host. I have stood from the school board to the state house, and now I'm ready to stand for you in Congress. Voters face a clear choice. We've seen how my opponent, Lauren Boebert, would represent us. She's abandoned her neighbors in CD3. She has missed key votes while chasing cameras. She has also been in the center of DC drama instead of doing the real work of the people. You know, it is time for you to decide. You can either see more of the same dysfunction and the same division, or it is time for new leadership, someone focused on real solutions to secure our border and revitalize our economy. You get to decide that, and I'm asking for your vote. You see, I'm not running from a seat. I'm running for this seat to serve you and to fight for the future of our children and our grandchildren. That's why I'm asking for your vote. Thank you and God bless you. Ms. Flora, thank you. Mr. Lynch. Well, thank you. Thank you, Carl and uh, Kyle and, and, and Marshall. We've, we've had a checkered pass, but I appreciate what you did tonight, which was ask questions about policy. And unfortunately, you didn't get a lot of answers about that. Um, I'm Mike Lynch. I'm a father, I'm a husband, uh, I'm a veteran, I'm a small business owner. And I've actually done this work. Uh, I've, I've passed and got signed 50 bills in the state house. I know how this process works. I know it's not about the vitriol. I know it's not about trying to get on TV. I know it's not about being a community organizer or being somebody that desires to just be on the next tweet. I realize this is hard work. This is a sacrifice. Uh, this is a sacrifice of leaving your community to go serve in DC. I'm not excited about that but I've done it for the last four years. I've risen to the highest ranks you can here in the state. I would appreciate your vote. It's not time to send somebody who has never been elected to Congress and those who haven't passed bills. Mike Lynch, lynch4colorado.com, thank you. Mr. Lynch, thank you very much. We have just two more closing statements to go. Mr. Holtor. Thank you very much for the opportunity to introduce myself to all of Colorado. Most people don't know that I'm a retired Army Colonel. I served 29 years. I have more geopolitical experience than anybody in front of you right now, having served five overseas tours, two combat tours, and yes, I'm a battle-hardened 
tough combat veteran, combat arms, Army aviator. If you don't know what that is, you need to look that up. I'm also a third generation cattle rancher, running a business for 17 years successfully. I'm also a businessman. I'm also the House Republican whip. Five years I've served and I've passed 38 bills signed by the governor, not just out of the House, like some people have purported, um, that haven't gotten much done in Congress. I produce and I get things done. I want to talk about one of the candidates here is from Douglas County. Um, she lived in California for many years and then came back to Colorado. She has no experience in the military other than being a DOD dependent. That isn't service. I also want to talk about um, how she's never held an office to include school board. She ran for the U.S. Senate, failed, and now she wants to run for U.S. Congress. That's your so time. So thank you. I'm Richard Holtorf, Holtorf for Colorado.com. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Holtorf. Ms. Bober. Colorado, this is choose your fighter time. I have a proven track record of delivering for you, having over 80 initiatives signed into law, bringing uh, your tax dollars back to Colorado. And right now you see what is at stake. You see the political persecution that is going on with President Trump, the election interference that is taking place with his uh, guilty verdict just announced today. And right now we have got to unify the Republican Party. I understand that my opponent uh, see me as their only opponent and will attack me. I will debate policy all day long, but we have more important things to focus on. Our farmers and our ranchers uh, need us to get legislative work done. We need to get the wolves uh, delisted federally. I have passed that out of the House and we need to get that all the way through. We need to lower inflation. We need to bring back our energy jobs. We need to secure the southern border. I am your fighter to do all of that. I have earned top line on the ballot because I have been earning the votes of uh, constituents in the 4th District and I hope to earn yours tonight. God bless. Ms. Bober, thank you very much. Thank you to all of our candidates for continuing the Colorado tradition where candidates show up to debate, don't duck challenging questions, and engage with each other about their differences.